Welcome everybody to video number eight. In this video, we're going to continue working on the elevator assembly. And in this shot, I am finishing up riveting and putting the nut plates on the trim door access reinforcement. Now I've got my tape and getting my rivets in on the skins, flipping them over, back riveting the ribs. Love back riveting. It goes so quickly and it's pretty easy. Here I'm getting all the, uh, the ribs lined up on the top and bottom skins. Just double checking the instructions. Once I get everything clico together, I'll start um, putting in the blind rivets. <clears throat> now here, I'm riveting the rear spar to the elevator. You didn't see it really well there, but I've got the uh, really long angled bucking bar that I can kind of cantilever off the edge of the table to provide force while I'm rooting. And uh, as you can see, still have a lot to learn when it comes to riveting, but everything turned out okay. Here I'm just cleaning up the trailing edge um, stiffeners and getting them ready to accept the 3M VHB tape. I chose to use this just for simplicity. I've read a lot of good things, holds well. It's easy to apply, just double stick tape. It just runs right along the trailing edge stiffeners and just make sure you clean them well. Give them just a slight scuff and then just set them aside and let the tape cure for a while. Now, once you actually insert these and uh, get ready to back rivet, you just put them in place, click them in, and I would suggest letting them set for at least uh, 24 hours or so. And if you leave it in place, click it together, maybe a little extra weight on top, uh, it holds extremely well. I've had zero problems. Just a quick shot of the inside to show you what it looks like after the blind rivets are installed. All right, putting the uh, front spar in place, getting it to fit along with the counterbalance assembly. The elevator horn is already applied. Again, back to it, getting the, uh, the ribs put together with blind rivets. And I've got a little extra weight on there to keep everything in place and keep everything lined up. I was using uh, the Harbor Freight pneumatic um, air riveter for those blind rivets. It's fantastic. No problem so far with the few blind rivets that are involved in the 14. Putting in a couple more rivets there on that uh, rear spar. You can see the hinge for the, the elevator in place, or actually, I'm sorry, the trim tab on the elevator.
Must have dropped a rivet. Happens a lot. I always sweep the floor up at the end of the day and sort through all the rivets I've dropped. Put them back in place. Back in my storage kit. Putting a few more blind rivets in. And finishing squeezing the skin to that rib there on the uh, where the elevator horn is attached. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I appreciate everyone watching. And uh, soon I'll release the third in the series on the uh, elevator and elevator trim. Until then, uh, we'll see you soon.